so she got April so today's video is going to be something really super duper affordable this is the second time that I have actually worked with this company and this is misslynnwigs.com I will post all their information below I did actually bleach this wig which I'm just gonna put like a small insert in the corner so that way it doesn't make the video so long and I should just move over to one side so that way you can see that but yes I have worked with Miss Lynn prior to this video it isn't like 180% density I think it's like 150 or 130% density either way it does look really really natural um, these are really great wigs for beginners I'm trying to see what the density is so it doesn't say on the actual bag when it comes in the density but this is a 360 lace wig it's the natural color it's a deep wig and it's 22 inches and um yeah i did get some of these cute little beauty blenders okay to try out on my face you know beat my face with and then also the miss lynn card right here all right um and this is just basically hair care tips and the box that it comes in which is like this you know what i'm saying so it says find you find find your beauty okay girl because if you haven't found it by now then I don't know what to tell you. So I did bleach the unit, as you guys see, and I did use um, 30, devol 30 volume developer, and I kept it on the hair for like 30 minutes. Um, so it actually did come out really, really nice. And I just let it air dry um, overnight, and the, the hair, um, did it tangle? Well, it didn't tangle, but it only shed a little bit. Which for the price point of this wig, you want to um, definitely be careful of the bleach that you're using on it, because you don't want it to just like rip the hairs out because if it rips the hairs out then god forbid so like it lifted the knots and they weren't that bad to begin with um like i was saying i have had some that were like really really bad and this is the wave pattern that i did get so it is a 360 um it does have like the combs on the side there was a comb in the middle but i took it out because i didn't like it and then the comb and the adjustable strap in the back so let's get into this tutorial i'm not going to glue it down or anything like that because I'm really trying to just put it on without doing anything so let's see how that works out okay you guys so let's try this out so this is the Miss Lynn's Virgin Brazilian 360 22 inches uh, lace frontal and density is actually 130% so as you guys see right here I am struggling to put this wig on because it's actually kind of like uneven the hairline is not perfect and as you guys see it's just not even the hairline is or the ear tabs it's just short in the front and it just really wasn't working out to my um benefit so i'm not going to like do like my normal mousse and hairspray down because it's just really the wig is off and no matter how hard I tried um, to make it even or somewhat sit on my hairline perfectly it just kept on like basically going towards behind my hairline because of the uneven cap so I was kind of disappointed about that so I'm just going to take my baby hairs right there and just brush them backwards and I'm not even going to like adhere the wig down because at this point there would be too much um just too much work for me to do so i'm just going to flatten the top portion and just make sure the part is straight so that way it can look as natural or realistic as possible i'm just going to just tame some of those flyaways with one of my wax sticks i love these wax sticks you can get them at the beauty supply store i don't know about no sallies but you can definitely get them at you know your local beauty supply and just hot combing it down just so it could be a little bit flatter on the top now, like I said, I did bleach these knots in this unit, and I mean, hey, it's all good. But um, I just wasn't really too fond of the whole entire outcome of the unit. So as you guys see me in the particular video, I am using my bleach and my um, 30 volumes developer, and I did let it sit on for 30 minutes. Um, the hair did shed, and actually, you know, it was no biggie, but you know, the hair did shed. I did rinse it off. I don't use aluminum foil to um, process the wigs when they're being bleached anymore, just because I was just told by like a salon um, salon beautician, you really don't need to use aluminum foil um, all the time. Sometimes it'll over process the hair depending on the hair quality. So for this one, I definitely just used a plastic bag. It actually processes the hair all the same, but once I rinsed it out, I did use the Sally Sally 
Valley Beauty Supply Store. Um, shimmer lights. I love that stuff. It all works the same. You can get like a huge bottle of it. But um, yeah, this was the second go around for me with this company. And for this time around, um, I like the texture of the hair, especially at the bottom portion. But it was very dry. And as you guys see right here, I wasn't able to just adhere it, which is fine. You know, I don't always want to adhere all the wigs. Sometimes you just want to slap them on and go. But, you know, I did put work into this and I do like the waves. It's supposed to be a deep wave, but honestly, um, it more or less reminds me of a medium wave. So as you guys see, I mean, I had to put on my lip gloss and stuff. You got to look cute when you're almost done with your video review. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, it still looks cute, but you know, I did have to do some tweaking to this unit just to make sure that it fit properly and it looked proper. So, Miss Lynn's wig. So I don't really know, honestly, how I feel about this one right here because it, it just seems like a little bit on the dry side to me. Like, very, very dry feeling. Um, and I feel it all up here. Not only does it feel dry, it just looks dry to me. So the luster is really not there in this unit. Um, now that I am, like, brushing through it and just, you know, playing around with it, I'm going to have to give it more or less, like, a six this time around. Only because it's dry feeling. It's dry looking and it's shedding okay it's shedding back here so yeah it definitely um it might be from in the front i'm not really sure to be honest the cap construction seemed a little bit off meaning the hairline wasn't lined up properly so in order for me to like have it where it needs to be to fit properly and comfortably it would have kind of been slanted if you guys know what I mean. So I had to kind of like maneuver it and kind of like shimmy it around. Now, that's not something that we always want to do. That's the reason why I left some of my hair out on the side because of the shimmying around. I do apologize if the color is changing in my video. But um, I just feel like for this one, this is the second video that I've done. And it's just a little bit off this time. Um, the very first one that I did, I think they kind of looked the same to me. This is supposed to be 22 inches, but in all honesty, it really looks to me as if it is 20 inches. So I don't think the length is there like that. The, the um the, the luster is definitely definitely not there and the construction of the cap is a little bit off um, overall can you work with it you can still work it it is still workable I mean saying like if you was to get a wig like this in the mail I definitely wouldn't not wear it I would definitely still wear it because you can still hook it up I just feel like there were some things with this unit for this time go around that it was a little bit off the price is though dumb affordable like you know what I'm saying like it is virgin hair but I'm thinking like it's it is virgin Brazilian hair um, which is great so you can bleach it but I would be really really skeptical about bleaching the hair because of the quality of the hair it's probably like on a more of a like a 5 or 6 a level versus like a 10 or a 12 a level you know opposed to like the hair quality so I think like the great hair for this would definitely be like a 5 or maybe like at least a 6 okay because there is like 12 and there's probably like 15 for all I know but you know Miss Lynn does have some affordable units. This might have been like, you know, a bad one like they say. Um, I just know that the hairline was off a little bit in this one. I do think like if it looks dry, you would definitely want to put some type of sheen or luster to it. Unless you want your hair to look dry, but I think that you do definitely want to put some type of luster to it because if it's dry, it's going to break off. The so. volume and the density is definitely there. I think this is probably like a 130 or probably 150. If you ask me, I would say it's more or less like a 150. 30 um and it just looks very voluminous because of the deep waves in it uh, the texture is nice though like more or less at the bottom it gets really silky smooth more or less at the top it's kind of like dry you know what i'm saying but down here at the bottom is very silky smooth and i do like the, the waves it's supposed to be a deep wave but you know to me it's more or less like in between medium and loose in between deep and loose i wouldn't definitely say this was deep i would just say this is more or less kind of like the in between whatever you want to call the in between but you can work with them they always have good discounts or just just good sales and prices i will list all the information below for you guys and you let me know what you think of this one is it a yay or a nay you know what I'm saying what you guys think you know but for the most part this is miss lynn's i will post everything below for you guys and i will see you guys in a soon to come video make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up because you love me and i'll see you guys soon